Another example, we're going to again apply the method of contradiction to prove another statement. The statement says, well, there is no integer that is both even and odd. So this is my theorem. There is no integer that is both even and odd. Okay, very good. How do I prove this? It says, I cannot find an integer that is both even or odd. Okay, at the same time, so and odd. We wanna show that this statement is true. So this is my statement like P. I wanna show that it's true. So if I show that not P is false, then I'm done. That's the method of contradiction. If I show that the negation is false, it automatically proves that the original statement is true. So let us apply the method of contradiction. Proof by the method of contradiction. What are we going to assume? Suppose this statement is false. Suppose we have an integer which is both even and odd. Well, well. Now we try to reach to a contradiction. We try to show that this statement is false. So our goal is to reach to a contradiction. From algebra point of view, from definition point of view, somehow some contradiction. Okay, so we have an integer which is both even and odd. Suppose M is that integer. Okay, let's see. Since M is even, M can be written as 2K for some integers like K. Since M is odd, M can be written as, for example, 2L plus 1, L is an integer. Well, well, let's see. Guys, take a look. I have M equals to 2K, M equals to 2L plus 1. So M and M are equal to each other. Let's set 2K and 2L plus 1 equal to each other. So 2K is equal to 2L plus 1 because M is equal to M. We set these two equal to each other. Or 2K minus 2L is 1. Or 2 parentheses, K minus L is 1. Or K minus L is a half. Oh my God. We have a contradiction. Why is that? This says an integer is equal to, the difference between two integers is an integer is equal to rational. This is a contradiction, a contradiction. It says integer, is equal to a rational number. This is your contradiction, okay. So the negation of the statement is false. It means that your original statement is true. So we just showed that. So we just, Sure that the negation is false. 
So the statement, original statement that you had at the beginning is true. Is true. So we just prove this theorem by the method of contradiction. 